Hello guys, this is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. In this tutorial, we will talk about binding the apex variables. Now, what do you mean by binding the apex variable? Apex variables can also be referenced by the colon notation. So, what do I mean by this? Let's see it with an example and that will make things very clear. So, let's go to our developer console. So let's say we wanted to go ahead and fetch the customer ID, the name and the status of the customer where the name of the customer is ABC. Okay, so let's go ahead, write the uh, query. So how do we do it? We're going to go ahead and say select the ID, comma name and comma the status also. Underscore, underscore C from which table? Let's say we are talking about the customer table here where the name is equals to ABC customer. So this is what the general query that we have been written so far. And this is what we are doing it because this particular query is going to return you the ID name and the customer status for the ABC customer. So let's say whatever the result is, let's say we might have multiple ABC customer. So let's go ahead and put the result into a list here. And the list will be of type Apex customer because we are retrieving customer records. And the name of the list we can say is at list of customers. So this is the name of the list. Now, if you wanted to see the result here, so we're going to go ahead and use the debug statement to, to display the results. So the records are, and then we are going to go ahead and display the value of the list of the customer. So this is the value we're going to go ahead and display. So let's go ahead and execute. So what is going to be the output of the program? It's going to give you the ID, name, and the status of the ABC customer. So this is what the output is. Now, what is the meaning of the apex binding variable? Apex binding variable is instead of saying something like this, instead of hard coding the value here, what we can do is we can put this value or we can store this value in another variable and we'll call it as string, let's say customer name in another variable and let's say we put this value here. So instead of referring it directly, we can use what we can do is we can replace this value here using a colon and then instead of putting the exact customer name, we can just put the variable name. So what will happen at the runtime? At the runtime, this particular value will get replaced by this value and it will give you the same exact result. But instead of hard coding, the customer name in the instead of hard coding the customer name in this particular uh, in the query we have hard coding it only once and we are displaying the customer name similarly let's say we have we're writing another query here where select the id and the apex amount paid underscore underscore c from the invoice table where the customer name. So how are we going to do? We're going to go ahead and say the customer name. So instead of hard coding the value, we are going to go ahead and replace it using this binding variable. So instead of writing it again and again, we are just putting it once. So what will happen is the benefit of doing a binding variable is let's say tomorrow you wanted to find it for another customer name test. So you do not have to change the value at 10 different places where you have hard coded it. You just have to go ahead and change the value in this particular string variable and automatically those values will get the new value. You know what I mean by this? See, if you had right now, we only have two queries. We can hard code the ABC customer name in both the queries. That's fine. But let's say if you're having multiple queries and we're doing it for the same customer and if tomorrow we plan on changing that customer value, then you don't have to go to each and every query and change it. If you are using a binding variable, then you just have to change the value at one place and at the runtime, the, the select queries will get the new value. So now whatever the result is, we can go ahead and store in another list. So let's say So this is an example of the binding variable. So let's go ahead and display the invoices also. So let's go ahead and display the invoice as well. So 
So customer records are, so you can see here, there's only one customer record with the name ABC customer and it has displayed the ID name and the status. Similarly, we had this Apex invoice. So we are displaying the, all the three invoices related to this particular customer. And if tomorrow, if I wanted to go ahead and fetch something else, let's say instead of the ABC customer, let's say the customer name is something else. Let's say we wanted to go ahead and look for the customer creation test. So let's say this is the new customer I'm looking for. So instead of changing it in these two places, what we have to do is we only have to change it here and then execute this program. So what will happen is at the runtime, the new value of the customer would be the customer creation test and automatically it is going to go ahead and give you the result related to that. So this is what the Apex binding variable is.